on the call. Silly. Yeah? Oh, look at this teamwork, it's beautiful. Yo, 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 yo! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yo! Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> Batik is found on various continents. But how has it evolved in Ghana? Well, today we are going to be spending the day as a batik designer. Today we'll be spending the day with Esther, a batik designer with an incredible story. Hello. Thank you. Or I should say Medasi. Medasi, yes, yes. Thank you. Well, thank you for letting me find out more about you and then come to the workshop and more importantly, try some batik. I'm excited. Let's go! I'm excited. So, how did you get into batik? It's a long and short story. You know, uh, I, I was in Mokola mm -hmm. and my things were stolen. Wow. So it's like I came home and I don't know what to do. So, I started thinking of what to do next. So, I started, my sister had some two pieces of Take them, the two pieces, and hang it because it's American. Because that is the same. Where do I get this? And this is the same. But then I don't know how to do that. So a friend came in and said, Do you want to learn how to do that? And I said, yeah. That's how. how yeah, wow. that's how I came into that. And how long have you been doing, or how long have you been doing batik for? 25. 25 years. That's amazing. Okay. And it's about. So, I was sitting there one day when a diplomat from America came to me and said, Why don't you teach us how to do mm -hmm. You know. And I said, Okay. Let me think of it. So I went to there and I said, Okay. I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I came with them to the house. They organized. Them how to do the magic. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came into that. Amazing. Actually, I don't have any formal education on mm -hmm. colors, but I use all my imagination. I have to think, I think always. Mm -hmm. I think always and I learn every day. I look at things and I learn. I talk a lot. So I sit down with you, I'll be talking and I'll be getting you ideas. Maybe you, you bring something small somewhere. Then yeah. I say, Let me add it to my thing. And it's, it's like it's working for me. You're adding up ideas in your head. Every, every, yeah. every day. I sleep, I wake up and I think, oh, today what am I going to do? How does it feel to have a job that is creative every day? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing. You always think, you, you, you always create something and you feel very happy. You know. How, what, what, do you, what do you think is the importance of batik? to Ghana's identity. It's important in the sense that it makes you know Ghanaians are colourful. Mm -hmm. You know. So it makes our colourful things come out more. Everything that we create is very good for the country. And you look at the country, we have so many colours. Mm -hmm. Even the plantation and everything, we have so many colours. You can get anything from the colours, the bush, the egg, the everything. Like, what's your plan for the next five, ten years? My next plan is I want to teach a lot of people mm -hmm. I want to have a small uh, restaurant like a smoothies. Or you come, I plant my own vegetables and I, I feed my vegetables in my restaurant. That's what is my plan for the next five years. That's what I'm doing. So I'm really excited to now go inside and see what it's like and then what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's go. I'm excited. Okay. So some cloth. Okay. Okay. Before we do our batik, yes. if the weather is very good, you have to wash your fabric first. Okay. Before you wash your fabric, Dry it. If the sun is very good, like 15 minutes, it's dry. Mm -hmm. Then it starts. 
if you are going to do a batik and you don't want white mm -hmm. in the batik, okay, then you have to dye the fabric, the fabric first. first. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. I like that we color. This one already. And if you do this, I want it matches my nails. It was a coincidence, but yeah, we we'll pretend it was meant to happen. Is that the one? Oh, hold on. You've taken a okay. Because these are all your blocks, right? I think. But sometimes we use the wood. Okay. Oh, cute. Okay, so this is what you would get. Yeah. So it's that yeah, cute. Wow. What's easier? This one is easier. The foam is easier. The foam is easier. Why? The reason is this one is easier. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you like. <sighs> That's true. That's like a workout. This one. Oh, gosh. I hope you didn't see that. Yeah, the was the design will come in blue. Oh yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I know. Yeah. So after this, we dye it again and do another color. Okay. Because this will melt. It melt. It will melt. And then this will, this will hold. This will be hard. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're alternating. Looking kind of cute. Okay, so it seems to be going well so far. Should I do this half with a different print? What do you think, yeah? Okay. Let me choose one, let me choose one. Um, okay, so which one should we pick for the core? Um, um, um. There's too much to choose from. Okay. This one. What do you think? Yes, you want to, okay. Like this cute one, right? I have an idea. Can I do the two? Big and then small inside. Okay, I like your style. Okay, cool. Right, so basically, yeah? Okay, my turn. It's not ready. Yes. It's not ready? It's not ready. How do you know it's ready? Oh, so we're trying to soften that nice. thing. So that one's ready. Let's try it. But we don't have to press and. Okay, just lightly. Okay. Oh, I have to put it again, or I can do. I can do it more than one, right? <gasps> okay. Okay. I'll be like your A star student, right? Yeah. 
¿Ya? On the table. Yeah, okay, so I'm definitely not a star student then. <laughs> So you use your two hands to do it. Okay. You do that way, then you okay. You see? So we don't need to stick on the side. Okay. I feel like we need something in the middle. It's a bit empty, isn't it? We have something. So let me do something else. So we need something that's gonna go in the middle, right? I've got an idea. Let me see. You have to pick something so that can fill the gap. I wanted something to like fill. So it looks like a continuous thing. Yeah, I feel like maybe somehow I'm feeling a bit restrained because it's like it's hard shapes, no, right? No, no, no. But if we can draw. You can draw, you can do anything you want. I wanted to like go around. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like... It's your first time. You have to imagine everything. Yeah, and, and that's why. At, maybe I look at your face and I see the way you do your hair. Mm -hmm. I just want it to be on the on, on the thing. So I should use my hair. So you can use your hair. You can use your photograph. You can use the face of the <laughs> Roll with it. Yes, please. There's one I really like. Yeah, G. Which one? Ooh, ah, that was hot. Got the wax on my finger. Yes. And then we're gonna do alternate. Yeah, one like this, one like this, like this. Like that. Don't. It's like you are kissing your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to kiss gently. <laughs> Esther, I didn't know you were like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what do you think? Do you like it? Yes. I think this is cute. This thing that we've got going on here, like a mixture of the cool Adinkra symbols. I think we're onto something. So we're gonna dye it now. Yeah. Ooh, exciting. Okay. Okay. Right. So we need to wear these. Yeah. Protection. We have to wear our uh, mask. A mask, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do surgery with the dye. Uh, blue. Okay, let's get dying. Yeah, go like a yellow guy. Yeah. So you are putting the yellow guy on the Okay. Oven. Let's do it. That rain? The show must go on. My turn? Oh yeah! I'm not going to take the, the fabric from the dye. Amazing. It's, it's now a purple color, but it will turn to yellow. What? Like, okay. like green, yellow. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So it will change. Okay. If, if you dip it in the hot water, it will change to come oh. yellow. So we are now going to put it in the in hot, the hot water. water. Anybody else excited to see how this is going to turn out? Okay. Cold water. Okay, cool. Cold water. Now we are going to put the water Woo! Okay, things are getting serious. Wow. Wow! 
I think we've done well. This is very cute. I love what we've done here, like the collaboration that we did together. This is so sweet. Wow, well thank you very much Esther for letting me spend the day with you and see what it's like to be a boutique designer. And guys, of course we have talent on the streets after the break. Stay tuned. Streets explores the amazing talents of those you may not always see. Accra is filled with extraordinary talent that often goes unseen. We want to expose these talents and share with you the most breathtaking, exciting and inspiring talents. Yo, that was good! Emmeline? Eja Kunto. Eja Kunto, amazing. You know, you're actually really tall. I didn't expect you to be this tall. How tall are you? 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three. That's pretty tall. I'm like 5'4". You're like, yeah, this is just how I am. Sorry, I play basketball. So you're going to show me some skills in a bit. But then first, I'd love to find out a bit more about you. Right. Okay. Yeah? No problem. Let's go. The basketball just, just walks everywhere. Extension of your body. So Anja, how did you actually get into basketball? I got introduced to the game. When I started going to school in Queensland International School, me, my friends, it was a break, and my friends went down with this. I'm like, hey, what is this? <laughs> so I was just upstairs um, watching them play, and it was so nice. So I went home, bought case five football, and then I started bouncing at home. We didn't have a, we didn't have a playground or a, a compound in my house, so I was just playing on my porch all the time, just dribbling. Wow, so before, with a football? Yeah, with a football. Okay. He's five at that time. So, you know. so how old were you when you first, first started? When I started, I think I was seven okay. years. That's yeah. nice. And then so you were seven, you got introduced to this. I have to ask, were you torn then? Like in comparison to everyone else? Well, at that time, yeah, I was like a tallest. Okay, so I do you think like that kind of helped you get into it to start with? or? God gave me the hat for a reason. Mm, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. And then, so you've been doing it. How old are you now? I'm 22 now. 22. Okay. So you've been doing it for 15, am I right? Probably. Yeah, yeah. You've been doing it for about 15 years. Um, as you were growing up, when did you decide that this is what you want to do as a profession? Um, Royalty Sports Academy, because Mike saw me play on a court one day and then he called me and was like, I'm good. How far do I want to take the game? And I was like, I won't take it far. But that was when I started introducing myself to NBA. I started watching more games. I was like, I should come. It will help me. When you decided that you wanted to go professional, how did your parents react? My parents were cool from day one. I mean, there's yeah. a funny story. With, um, when I was completing um, my GHS, the school I selected, my teachers were like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't go there. So my, my, mom, my mom should advise me. And they picked the school for me. So my mom went to the school and she was like, ah, you don't have any right to tell my son the school he, sh he should go. Mm -hmm. So they should just leave it like that. I mean, my, my parents were, were, were supporting since day one. So I started playing basketball. I mean, my parents are not the kind of parents that would put, I mean, you have to be a lawyer, you have to be a pilot, mm -hmm. you have to be this, you have to know. They just leave us to do what we want to do and they support. And I, I love that about my parents. I'm just blessed to have parents like that because anytime I go out, like, most of my friends stop playing basketball because their parents wanted them to go to school. Yeah, you're very, very lucky. Yeah. And as you're saying, blessed. I'm blessed, yes. To so have blessed. parents to support you because one of the other guys that we actually contacted for Talent on the Streets um, has stopped playing and he had an opportunity to go to China and play basketball in China, but he had to stop because his parents didn't support it. And that's like a dream killed, right? It actually yeah. makes me really sad and really like upset. Uh, so you're uh, very lucky. Uh, it's, it's sad. It's sad here with that because they don't allow us to mm -hmm. go after what we want, but it's them. I mean, that will, be, that will make the, the, the child not even want to put much effort into what their parent want him or her mm -hmm. to do. What's your plan to stop playing in the NBA? Like, do you have 
a plan that you want to do this and then do that and you're going to get into it that way? Okay. Or? Well, to get into the MBA, the procedure is you have to go to your college and then you can apply mm -hmm. for the draft and then you get into the MBA. My coach is working on that. He's working on it? Yeah. That's really cool. That's, it's very inspirational that you're kind of really going for it and that you know, you, you're you not going to stop until you get there. Um, when it comes to basketball, what do you think can be improved like in Ghana? Well, we need the facilities because we have the personnel, the people. We have good coaches here. So all we need is, um, I mean, the exposure. Mm -hmm. and then facilities as well. Okay, so right now, are you working or studying? Or what are you doing with mm. the basketball? Like I said, um, I completed Presbyterian Boys Secondary School, Pesek, Legon, three years ago. But then, I'm not studying now, because I'm focusing on taking my talent out there, mm -hmm. study out there, and then continue with the basketball. But right now I'm working with Dynasty Sports Academy as an assistant coach. Okay, cool. That's good. So that kind of brings in a bit of revenue for you. Yeah, and yeah, then whilst my, you're... my my principle as a human being is to give out, to help mm -hmm. the next generation. My mine is the next generation. If if I mean I can't make it, just saying. I know the 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 guys behind me, those behind me can can make it. So why not just help them or push them get to where I couldn't get to. That's deep, I love that. It's all about the next generation yeah, and generation. pushing that up and building up. Right. Honestly, it's a pleasure to find out more about you and I'm actually really excited to see what you can do. Like you have big dreams, big ambitions and I'm yeah. excited, like I'm actually excited for your future because you have such a, a nice positive mindset, you know, very pure and it's just about your craft, it's just about basketball. Nice. So yeah, let's see some of your skills and then maybe... You try. Maybe, I'll try. Yeah. Right. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Three throws from here. Yes, and three, three pointers, pointers from outside there. the arc, the big arc. Outside the arc. Yeah. Sounds cool. Okay, trial number one. One. Okay, I don't have to catch. Okay. Two. Got you. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so where's the next place? There. Okay. Are you ready? Nice. One. Sick. Two. Nice, nice, nice. And three. Nice, 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 nice. That was really cool. Okay, oh, okay, we're doing more. Oh, sorry. Four. Hey, now you're just showing off. <laughs> Okay. You know, the wind and everything. The wind, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If we are to play in a better facility, yes. we'll be good players because we are playing against so many mm. things, against the wind, against defenders. So when we get when we want to get the opportunity to play in an indoor court in a big arena, I think we'll be good. I, I, I get it, I see how it works. Can you, can you show me some dribbling? Yeah. Like what's? Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, that was like no chill. Fine, that that was that was really cool. I thought you were going to do some like nice dribble. I'm kind of embarrassed to try. Should I try something? Why well, no? I mean, let's go. Okay, let's try this trick. Yeah. Oh, I feel like that. Really? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me Come. pretend I know what I'm doing. Right. <sighs> wait, that's not gonna go. Oh, you, you, you can catch my balls. It's my turn. Side, sorry. Well, the way you want to shoot. Yes, how's good? How do I shoot? Yep. You shoot on the 
on the fingertips. Yeah. You leave a hole here so you can get the ball spin. When it spins, when it spins, you have the, the ball entry is high. <laughs> Maybe that's just not you. No. <laughs> Alright, okay. Gosh. I'm like, this will go in. Go! Ooh. Okay, but I got it to spin though, right? Yeah, that, that's good. The rotation. Right. Why is it not working? Because it's, it's not because I'm short, right? Oh! Okay, I think we deserve it. We deserve a drink. Cheers to basketball and your future. Ah, yeah. ah. Let's continue. Okay, so. So out of breath. You taught me how to shoot from there with a little bit of my own flare in there. Now, how about, have an idea, you try and score and I have to try and defend you. Can you? I can try. Let's see. Yeah. Right. Okay. Ready and defend. Alright. Joking. Okay. I don't even have to stop the ball. Wait, wait, wait. That was a cheater. That was that was just a test. That was a test. Oh mamma mia. Okay. Attack! Yo, 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 yo! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh no, that's cheated! Oh you <laughs> So you don't even need to move. Move, yes. Please don't move. You're just trying to tire me out there. Huh? You try to score. Me? Mm hmm Okay, my turn. Emily needs a basketball detonator. It's coming. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm done. You're done. Because you are, you are done. No, me, me. I'm just <laughs> pretending. I'm just like. <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So this was Emmeline on the court, and guys, see you next week. is sponsored by Awake Purified Drinking Water and High Five Chocomalt. GH1 TV, your best experience.